Hey guys, it's Jesse and Jackie from Fit Drive. Hey guys. So we've got a warm up for you today that you can do with any workout. One of the most important parts of a workout is doing a proper warm up. And Jackie's going to take you through two rounds of one today that you can just follow along with. First is windmills. She's going to take a nice long, wide stance and reach from toe to toe. She's going to do 20 of these. And it's really important that she gets that rotation and really twist as she comes through. The warm up is kind of, you know, I've seen a lot of people at gyms just get on a treadmill and walk for a few minutes. It's very important that your warm up actually uses the movements and the muscles that you're going to use during your workout. These you should feel the back of the legs and the hamstrings mainly. All right, I think that was funny. Very good. From there, she'll go into a squat. Take a nice shoulder width stance, chest up, butt down. Now, notice Jackie's got her weight through her heel. So if I were to put my hand here, I'm not uncomfortable at all. If you find yourself pushing your knees forward and your weight going onto your toes, that's not a good thing. It's gonna hurt your knees, it's not the proper movement. So Jackie's doing it perfectly, she's sitting right back into it. And Jackie's gonna do some squatting, squatting motions in her, warm, in her workout with weight. So it's very important that she does this squat with that weight beforehand to warm up. I said we lost count. <laughs> well, you're gonna do 20. I'm not sure where Jackie is, but that seems to be a good number. Next is bird dogs. So bird dog is a slightly more complicated exercise. You're going to extend your opposing hand and foot. Jackie's reaching her fingertips forward as far as she can, reaching her thumb up while pushing your heel back towards the wall. And it's very important that you push your heel back, not just your toes. If you point your toes back, you're not going to engage your glute quite as much. You don't want to get all the way up here. Right, straight out, exactly. She keeps her core tight the whole time. And it's very important, these two things, she's reaching her fingertips forward while her thumb goes up getting a good stretch in her lap. Not only does this get you ready to work, because you're using opposing parts of your body, it gets your brain ready for the activity, much more, much less likely to get injured during the activity because you're prepared for it. From there, she's gonna go right on her back and do hip extensions. With this motion, you wanna drive through your heels to activate your glutes. You know, a lot of people, as they get older, your glutes kind of disappear. You know, by, by the time you men, by the time they get older, there's no butt whatsoever. Those glutes, lose their ability to function, and that's how injuries happen. So it's very important before a warm up, you do a hip extension like this, push right through your heels, and get those glutes going. She's gonna do 20 of these, and after she does that, she's gonna go right back to the top and start off at the beginning with windmills, squats, and hip extensions. Sometimes you can add other exercises, you can do some jumping jacks at the end to get yourself warmed up, but these are the core exercises that you really need to do. And right back up. So with windmills, again, nice wide stance, reaching toe to toe. And you're gonna get that twist in there. It's very important. You're not only stretching your hamstrings, you're twisting your core, and you're warming yourself up cardiovascularly. It's very good. She goes right back into her squats again. Weights at her heels, chest stays up. And you want to stand all the way up, lock your glutes. It's very important that you know that you, you get all your muscles engaged, particularly your glutes. They shut off as we get older. They're very important for performance. She's gonna stand all the way up and sit all the way down, loosening up those muscles. Fingertips and, and, and thumb go up. Fingertips go forward, thumb goes up. It's very, very important. And the fact that she's using two sides of her body in tandem, it's actually it's trans-hemispherical communication. It just means you're using your brain the way you typically won't get you ready for the activity and get your body ready. It's actually a pretty good core exercise as well. Your core gets warmed up as you do this. It gets you ready for a great workout. Very good, and notice she's not wobbling side to side, she's very tight through the whole activity. Now hip extensions, she's gonna drive through her heels. And 
back. She's driving through her heels, squeezing her glutes up top. And once she finishes that, I want you some bent knee twists. So you're gonna bring your feet together and just roll your knees side to side. So at the end, once you've done your 20 windmills, 20 squats, 20 bird dogs, hip extensions, 20 hip extensions, go through two rounds of that, and just about 20 bent knee twists, gently rolling from side to side, stretching out that low back, giving you low back issues. This is gonna help loosen all those muscles up and get you ready for your activity. And once we get 20 of those in, that is a warm up. And that, that seems like 20 to me. All right, guys, so there are all the pieces you need for a perfect warm up. So, any workout of ours that you follow along with, you can start with this exact warm up every single time. Every workout can be very different, but these are the most important exercises that you want to do for your warm up. It's all the most important movements. So this is from now on your warm up. All right guys, nice job Jack.